Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to add sample subscribers directly from Google Sheets automatically. So the idea is that if I enter some details into my Google Sheets, a new subscriber will be automatically created in Sendpulse. But the issue here is there is no direct connection between Google Sheets and Sendpulse. So that is why I will be using an integration and automation software called as Public Connect that integrates Google Sheets and Sendpulse. The best part here is a person without any technical background can perform this integration easily. Now before I show you the steps, how about we begin with a real time example. Okay, so this is my Google Sheet and this is my Sendpulse account. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to enter some details here and then we will check whether we have a subscriber in Sendpulse. So let us perform the experiment. So we have a guy called as Mike Ross. And this is the email of Mike Ross. Mike Ross 45 at the rate gmail.com. Okay, so this is the email address. And after that, let me just add the phone number. So this is the phone number of Mike Ross. So we have added the phone number. So as you can see, we are going to have a look in uh, Sendpulse. Do we have a subscriber called as Mike Ross? So this is the subscriber list. So let me just refresh Sendpulse. Okay, so Sendpulse is getting refreshed. So hopefully we can find a new subscriber called as Mike Ross. Oh yeah, we do have a subscriber called as Mike Ross. So you must be thinking, how did I do it? How did I manage to send the data from Google Sheets to Sendpulse and that too automatically? So basically here we have used an integration and automation software called as Public Connect that integrates Google Sheets as well as Sendpulse. So before I explain you the step, let me just give you a small perspective. Okay, so in the first step, what we are going to do here is we are going to integrate Google Sheets to Public Connect. This can be done by copying and pasting the webhook URL from Public Connect into Google Sheet. Now in the second step, you are going to enter some data in Google Sheet and that data will be sent to Public Connect. Now the same data will be used to create a subscriber in Sendpulse. So now we will have a perfect integration between Google Sheets, Public Connect and Sendpulse. Now the most important thing you have to know is once you have created this workflow, all you have to do is just keep on entering the data in Google Sheet and automatically a subscriber will be created in Sendpulse. Okay, so to begin the process in the new tab, just type babli.com, P-A-B-B-L-Y.com. Press enter. So you must be thinking, why the hell are we working in incognito mode? Well, if you're working with Google Sheets and have uh, multiple Gmail accounts, it is always advisable that you work in incognito mode. Otherwise, there will be the problem of authentication. Okay, so this is uh, the website babri.com. All you have to do is just click on sign up for free. Here, you can build your own account in just two minutes. In my case, I have already built an account. So it will straight away direct me to the app section of Pabli. So this is the app section of Pabli. Let me scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button, create workflow. Click this, a dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I'm going to give it as Google Sheets. Google Sheets 2. I'm sorry, Google Sheets 2. Send Pulse. Of course, you can give any name according to your choice. It's totally on you. And let me just straight away click on create. So when you click on create, you will find two windows, the trigger window as well as the action window. Now in the trigger window, we have to select the app as Google Sheets because we want to send the data from Google Sheets. That is why Google Sheets it is. Now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new spreadsheet row? Okay, so essentially what we're going to do here is we are going to integrate our Google Sheet to Pabli Connect. So what I'm going to do here is first of all, let me create a Google Sheet. Okay, the plan is I'm going to teach you everything from scratch. So you won't have any doubt. So let me just go to Google Sheet and let me just click on blank. Okay, so we have to give a name to this Google Sheet. Okay, so I'm planning to give it as uh, new data of subscribers. Okay, and then we have uh, the name. Okay, that will do. Then we have the email and of course the phone number. So we are going with three columns, name, email and the phone number. So we are going to integrate this uh, Google Sheet to Pabli Connect. Okay. So to begin the integration process, uh, first of all, just click on add-on. So when you click on add-ons, you will find an add-on called as Pabli Connect Webhooks. Now, since you are beginning fresh, Pabli Connect Webhooks might not have been installed yet. So first, just click on get add-ons. When you click on get add-ons, 
Okay, when you click on get add-ons, Google Workspace Marketplace opens up in front of you. So in the search, just type Pabli Connect Webhooks. Pabli Connect Webhooks, this one. Okay, so as you can see, Pabli Connect Webhook is already installed in my Google Sheet. So all you have to do is just click on this button and Pabli Connect Webhooks will be installed in your Google Sheet also. Now there is an important thing that I have to mention. After installing Pabli Connect Webhooks, do not forget to refresh your Google Sheet. I repeat this again. After installing Pabli Connect Webhooks, do not forget to refresh your Google Sheet. So let me just cancel this. I'm hoping that you have uh, installed Pabli Connect Webhooks in your Google Sheet and also refreshed your Google Sheet. Okay, so we have three columns, name, email and phone. So column C is the last data entry column. I repeat this again. Column C is our last data entry column. So let me just go back to add-ons, Pabli Connect Webhooks. Just click on initial setup. So this is the window of initial setup. So here we have to fill two fields, the webhook URL as well as the trigger column. So let's start with the webhook URL. So this is the webhook URL you want. You copy this and you just simply paste it here. Okay, so we have entered the webhook URL. Then we have to mention the trigger column. The trigger column is always the last data entry column. I repeat this again. The trigger column is always the last data entry column. So our case, in our case, the last data entry column is column C. So I'm going to mention the trigger column as column C. So let me just straight away click on submit. Okay, excellent. So what I'm going to do here is next, there is one minor thing you have to do. Go back to add-ons, public and webhooks, just click on send on event. So this will ensure that anytime column C is filled, it will keep on sending the data to public connect and public connect is ready to accept the data or capture the data. Excellent. So we are going to make some entry. So we have a guy called as Roger. Fernandez okay Fernandez and then we have the email as roger45453 at the rate gmail.com okay so this is the email address now we are going to fill in the last start entry column so this is the phone number a bunch of random numbers that's all so we have entered the name we have also mentioned the email we have also entered the phone number now the trigger column the last data entry column has been filled so let's have a look whether Pabli connect since it is integrated with this google sheet has it captured the data or not so let's have a look yes we do have the details we have the name that is roger fernandez we have the email roger 453 at the rate gmail.com then we have of course the phone number and this is row index 2 so this is because the data has been captured from second row okay so we have got all the details in public connect so what's next now we are going to create a subscriber in send pulse and this is how you do it in the action window you are going to introduce send pulse this one send pulse it is now in the action event how about we make it as add subscriber simply just click on connect go with the new connection okay so we have to mention the id as well as the secret so let me just show you the id as well as the secret so here you have two choices either you can just uh, click on api and you will be directed to the id as well as the secret section or you can just follow me okay so first of all all you have to do is just go to the profile click on uh, account settings okay so let it load give it one or two seconds okay so this is the account settings page and here at the left side you will find the option api click this so this is your id i'm just going to copy this and i'm going to paste it here easy then we have to mention the secret so let me just mention the secret so this is the secret i'm just going to copy this once again and i'm just going to paste it here so we have mentioned the id we have mentioned the secret just click on save so when you click on save you have a set of fields the purpose of these fields is very simple we are going to create a subscriber in send pearls from the data that we have received from google sheets via public connect so you have the first uh, field for the mailing list name so these are all the mailing lists that i have in my send pearls account so let me just show you the mailing list i have in my send pearls account so these are all the mailing list that is present in my send pearls account okay all the mailing list that is present here is being reflected here now i'm interested in this particular mailing list okay let's say hot leads so we select hot leads but what if I want to create a new mailing list? So let me create a new mailing list. So the name of the mailing list is new data list. Okay, just a random name. And let me just straight away click on create. Okay, so, okay, so I think, uh, okay, so the new mailing list has been created. It has been called new data list. Excellent. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to refresh here. Okay, refresh this field. 
So I can expect to find this newly created list in the dropdown. Yes, we do have this list that is new data list. We select this. So the idea is that we are going to enter all the new subscriber in this particular list. So we have to work with the email first. So let's map it. Now this is the email. This is the data that we have received from Google Sheet. Now this is something you know. So we are just going to click here. We are just going to click here and we have mapped it easy. Then we have to map the name. We click here, we click here and we have mapped the name. Then we have the phone number. We click here and this is the phone number. So we have mapped all the details. We have the email name as well as the phone number. So at this point, all you have to do is just click on save and send test request to send this data to Google Sheet. So let me do that. Okay, so the response is a positive one. I'm sorry, I had to send this data to uh, SendPulse. So let's have a look in SendPulse. Okay, so do we have a new data called as Roger Federer or Fernandez or something? Okay, so do we have Roger Fernandez? Yes, we do have a Roger Fernandez. Yes, excellent. So the presence of this subscriber confirms that we have a successful integration between Google Sheet and SendPulse. Now, before you leave, let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So let me just minimize this action window and let me just minimize the trigger window. So basically, this is the whole process in a nutshell. First, you integrated Google Sheets to Public Connect and then you integrated Public Connect to SendPulse. So now there's a perfect flow of data between Google Sheets and SendPulse. Excellent. So I hope it is getting clear now. We create a workflow to integrate Google Sheets and SendPulse. And after that, after creating this workflow, all you have to do is just sit back and relax. So anytime a new data is entered in Google Sheet, automatically a new subscriber will be created in SendPulse. You don't have to do anything. So not just these two apps, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. If you have any queries, please contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com. Also, the link of Public Connect as well as the workflow is available in the description box. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.